Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today Emma has come in for her infill and redesign. So Emma is a gel and I use a builder gel and I use the Silcare uh, Highlight LED gel. So did I just, mm. I don't know. Did I just? I think you did. I don't, I don't know. know now. It's dehydrated. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference. I got distracted <laughs> then because I was talking. Um, Easy done. It's only dehydrator. Now for Emma, I use an acid-free primer because I ge we generally don't have any issues with lifting at all with no. Emma. Um, there we go, we dehydrate, acid free primer. Have you decided which one of those we're going with? No. Yet? No, she's like, I don't know, I don't They're know. It is too pretty. There's just so much choice. I've just put glitters in front of her in case you're wondering. <laughs> so, yep, so I filed off the pink and grey set, which was on here. The foil. And I've pushed back the cuticles and I've buffed. <laughs> buffed. We like buffing, don't we? <laughs> so I've buffed the um, natural nail and the uh, remaining gel as well. Ready for filling. Okay, so I then use some of this. And I put that on a little bit. Where, where's my doodah gone? I've lost, I've lost my doodahs, Emma. You have. <laughs> I've lost my doodahs. Mm. Right, a little acrylic slab. Just pop a bit of that on there. There we go. Right, so I don't actually use the brush that comes with this. I have a little brush that I use to scrub the product in with. So this is a, you scrub this layer in. Okay. How are we doing cameraman? Are we good? Or camera I woman? I see from here. Oh, I thought that's why you were suddenly lifting no, up. No, you're sorry, watching. no, sorry, no. Me back. Me back, I know, I need to get a decent chair No, it's that fine, side. I'm not moaning. <laughs> but no, I can't actually really see. You never you. moan, Emma. <laughs> Well, you do, just not not about me. <laughs> not to you. Not, not about me. No, definitely not. Not about me. Do you see my nails? <laughs> my bling. Yeah, so you're going to have to start carrying some hand sanitizer around with you, yes. aren't you? Yes. Because it's got to the stage now where people are grabbing Emma's hands to have a look. <laughs> I think they know it's like a fortnightly basis. I think it? some of them have cottoned on to that. Yeah. Because yeah. you're, you're a two-week girl. <laughs> but it's slightly longer for you, isn't it, this just time around? Just this time, round? yeah. Yeah, because you're trying to put it all in, ready for your holly bar. Yay! Mm -hmm. Yay! Okay, scrub that in. Scrub, 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 scrub. There we go. Right, okay. pop that in there. There we go. And we will scrub, scrub, scrub this one. It's been a while since I've actually shown the whole... Hmm process so i thought why not you know something a little bit different i won't leave all of it in because you know we'll be here for years but yeah scrub 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 oh that'd be my belly are you hungry <laughs> again <laughs> I'm not hungry. I mean, that's, <laughs> I think that's a regular occurrence. Oh, the children have decided they're clearly not doing what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Sounds fun, what if it is? Mm. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Bless them. Okay. Hey, they're happy. Are you all done, Alex? Yeah. Awesome. Right. Let's get building. So I. Only not finished. 
and they're just putting their clothes away. Scrub my brush in there. I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit and we're just going to make our slip layer. Below that there, and this just helps to put the product where we want it to go. I don't know what Alex is playing on there at the moment. Camera really is right in my way. <laughs> oh, bless you. Right in my way. Okay. We're going to use that around. Mm -hmm. Okay, pop that in. These take a 30 second cure. And when that one is in the lamp, I come along and I just use what I've got on the brush to do the slip layer for the next finger. And that's how we work the process all the way through the fingers. So normally by the time one's coming out the lamp, the other one is pretty much ready to go into the lamp. I'm just going to pillow that in there. And yeah, the slip layer just helps it go where you want it to go and settle where you want it to settle because it is a self-leveling gel. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit cold, just a tad. You didn't put it on the tumble dryer today? No. <laughs> tumble dryer not been on. <laughs> it generally, just mm. not normally it's kept in my cupboard which right. has the sky box and whatnot above the cupboard yeah so it's always got like this little bit of heat going on but um could get away with a pink and white set couldn't we look how lovely they are that's coming it's coming <laughs> i know it's coming <laughs> but not yet because we've got yet. valentine's and holiday yes because you want your fancy holiday nails so i, I can't do. do after your holiday nails is we when i plan to do your french mm. which we're going to try doing in gel mm. i haven't had french for a long long time i've never attempted a <laughs> gel french so this, that's why. this will be um yes i did uh, an acrylic french well, I did an acrylic French ombre okay. on Megan, which is only my second ever attempt at doing that Ooh, on an actual person. Oh, they um, on? You put them on? Put them on your videos? Yeah, but that's the, yeah, you, that isn't going up to my. Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gosh, because that's where we're up to. Yes, that's how I roll. Please excuse my streaming, guys. <laughs> Not you, though. This one's going up next week oh, no. because i wasn't anticipating doing megan's nails so soon right um because she damaged herself so mm. um is she recovering yeah no no her, na her nails are fine now oh, they're good. all right um you know so long as she keeps them on it's all good um So what I'll probably do is just then this bit. I know we're just gonna do it. Eyes. Fast forward this, so they'll see it, but I'll speed mm -hmm. it all up.
Okay, so I'm now just finishing up doing the gel infill. And then I'm going to come along in a moment um, once that's cured. And we're going to take the tacky layer off all of these. Obviously, this, this is build gel. It has a tacky layer. So you need to make sure you take that off with some gel residue wipe off solution or either blah, 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 alcohol. <laughs> can't ever say that one um and then what i've done i've actually left a little bit of me filing in don't worry not for all the nails just a couple of them just in case anybody wants to see what i do so i do the side walls first make sure they're nice and straight um with this one actually i'd already done the free edge um it was it was all right so i've gone straight in and I'm just going round. Now, I have sped this up, so please don't think I'm going at her like a crazy woman. I'm really not. I'm also using a 240 grit um, half moon file um, because this is gel. So it's very, very fine. Really easy to file. Really easy. And then I'm just going to buff over the top. Uh, normally what I do is obviously do all of the fingers, then come along and buff. But as I wanted to show you a couple of fingers, I thought I might as well do it as we go along. There we go, see? I'm just curve going round the cuticle. And I like to turn the finger, because then it keeps my finger over the, her skin. So it means that I'm less likely to cut her Whereas if I don't do that, you know, you can risk the risk, run at the risk of catching the skin with a file, which is not really very comfortable. And obviously you can see I'm constantly checking the nail as we go along. Now Emma gone off to wash her hands, so I'd started to do the polish and then when I'd looked at it, there was still quite a lot of dust still left. So I'm just coming in now with some little, little bit of alcohol, gel residue, wipe off solutions in my book um, and I'm just taking all of that off before I'm then going to come in and start the polish design. Okay so they're all nice and clean now and I'm coming in I'm using Nail Nails um, Urban Graffiti Black Polish which for this you need to just put in very thin layers okay the coverage on this is amazing um, but if you put it on in really thick layers it will just bubble. It does not like to be put on thick, so nice thin coats. Okay, so I'm actually wiping a bit of it off now just to make sure that's nice and thin. I'm going to do um, two coats of polish of this on, obviously, both the hands. I'm just showing you the first coat on this hand. So then I am coming in with the Tomika gel polish. You will have seen, um, I think there was, yeah, the Amazon delivery that recently came had the Tomika polishes in it. Um, we used some on Emma last time and found it to be really, really good. So we decided to come and do this. Now, originally, this was just going to be a full red set. And during the consultation... Or if you like, no, it's actually, it was, it was as we were going along, she went, ooh, you know you're going to put those black hearts on there? She was like, it'd be quite good if you had some black polish as well. And then I went, mmm, maybe with a bit of red glitter. <laughs> and so so this this set kind of evolved as we were going through. Normally I kind of have a plan in mind before we started, but hey, I am always open to suggestions. And in fact... I love it when um, people do actually comment and want to input into their designs. It's great. I love it. Um, I'm always asking, you know, are you happy with this? Do you like this? You know, and my cat's just attacking the door. And then the minute I go and open the door, she'll go, no, I don't really want to go out. I just wanted to make you stand up. See, every single time I try to do a voiceover. Oh yeah, see I've missed the bit where Emma decided to smack me. Oh no, she was she was playing with Oliver and not paying attention to what she should have been doing, which is me. <laughs> um so I'm just coming in with a um an old 
acrylic brush with a bit of gel residue just to clean that up and just reminding her to uh, <laughs> put her fingers not touching each other whilst we go through the uh, gel polish routine. So only once we get the first coat on, we're, we're all right. But uh, but yeah, I did end up. I ended up wearing some of this as well. <laughs> it was a good day. Uh, this is obviously all in real time as well, so I'm I'm not I'm not that speedy at it and obviously if I get any over I'll just come along either with a brush to clean up or sometimes I use an orange stick just to wipe it off to get that off there so again we'll do two coats of this red but we're going to leave the tacky layer on all of these ready for the next part of the design and I think we've just got, oh yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of clean up here. And then I'm just going to put the black polish now on the pinky finger. And then this is a 60 second cure. Okay, so moving on, I'm just using a bit of um, nail glue just to attach these on. Um... Normally, I probably would have just I would have just put base coat down first and then put them on, um, but I wanted I wanted a bit of extra strength on them, so I decided I was going to glue them to the tacky layer. Um, don't worry, I have spotted that some are sticking up a little bit more, and we'll go in once the glue's starting to set a little bit more, because um, I'll go back in and kind of poke them down a little bit. See. And so we're going to do um, the two hearts on the index finger and the ring finger. When I can get them to stay put. <laughs> and then what am I doing next? Ah, glitter time. Yes. So I am just putting this glitter into the tacky layer that's on the black I have got no clue where this glitter came from. Um, it was decanted in a tiny little tub. Um, I, ha I haven't got a Scooby where this came from. Sorry, but it's quite an awesome, quite an awesome glitter actually. Um, so yeah, just doing that on all of the black, black nails. Um, then what am I going to do next? Let's have a look. Ah, okay, so now I'm coming in with some base coat over the top. Obviously, these are um, sticking out a little bit, so I'm just putting that round. But also, because they're quite shiny, the I don't want the top coat not to set on them properly. Not, not that I've ever had a particular problem, but um, because base coat is just thicker, I thought it just would help seal them in a bit more. Um, then I'm putting top coat on the middle finger and now I'm going to come in and do exactly the same on this hand with the love hearts while that hand is in the lamp and uh, check out me doing multitasking <laughs> there are some points when I go hang on a minute which which part did I just get to have I what how many layers have I just done on that <laughs> and I'm always goes how do you remember where you've got to and I'm going well most of the time I do so normally if I get dis distracted, like people asking me questions and stuff as I'm trying to do something and then I forget where I got to. OK, so this has come out of the lamp and we're adding some chrome. <gasps> oh, I've wanted to use this red chrome for ages, but I couldn't entice anybody to have it. And then I was like, um, what, do you, what do you think about having some of this on here as we're going for this design? And you can see she's like, yes, yes, I like this. I want it. So I did. You know, that nice subtle designs that we've been we're doing for work now. <laughs> yeah, she has got to the point where even she's probably going to start needed having hand soap with her because people constantly want to look at her nails. So they keep grabbing her hands going, oh, my God, look at your nails. Yeah. 
Uh, so I'm coming in now with the first layer of top coat on all of the nails. And then I'm going to finish up the other hand, well, these are in, and then I will come back and I will give them all a second coat of top coat. And there you have it. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.